table of scanning you can observe that the smallest uncovered value is 3 that is the smallest value that no line pass through subtract this 3 from other corresponding uncovered value that will be 3 minus 3 8 minus 3 28 minus 3 32 minus 3 51 minus 3 20 minus 3 you put that on a fresh table you also had the same 3 to point of intersection of line so there is an intersection of line under J1 M1 that will be is 0 plus 3 there is intersection of line under J1 M2 9 is there you add the 3 to that 9 that is 9 plus 3 12 any other values will remain the same once again when you want to form the iteration table check the smallest uncovered value out of 51 20 32 28 3 and 8 those are the figures that no line pass through them the smallest among them is 3 subtract it from all other values as well 3 minus 3 8 minus 3 28 minus 3 32 minus 3 51 minus 3 20 minus 3 then had the same smallest uncovered value which is 3 to point of intersection of line j1 m1 there is 0 at that spot and the, the line cross each other it will now be 0 plus 3 j1 m2 the line there is a crossing of line the value there is 9 it will be 9 plus that 3 the smallest uncovered value so the resulting table is what you are going to have next and that is what you can see here we generated it from the column row scanning table to have this as our first iteration table if you do that this is what you are going to get we also continue with the scanning on it and this is the result we get after we have done that after we have done what we have just explained now we did the column row scanning on it and this is the result and we also observe that we still have three boxed zeros three crossed line but the number of rows or columns are still four we are yet to reach optimal level we continue to make another iteration table by following the process the smallest uncovered value is still five in this case five minus five thirty nine minus five forty eight minus five seventeen minus five twenty nine minus five twenty five minus five you also need to hide the smallest uncovered to point of intersection of lines. There's an intersection at 12, J1, M2. You will add 5 plus 12. It gives 17. There's also intersection of line J4, M2. 10 plus 5, it gives 15. On the resulting table, you still do scanning. And by the time we did that, we obtained the next table. We obtained the next table and we did the scanning, the column row scanning again. And when we did this column row scanning, we observed that the number of box 0 is now 4, the number of cross line is now 4, and the number of rows or columns is 4. At that point, we reach optimal level. You can now go ahead with assigning. J1 should be assigned to where you have unique 0, the box 0. So J1 should be assigned to M4. J2 should be assigned to M3, where you have box 0. J3 should be assigned to M1. And J4 should be assigned to M3. And that is how you do your assignment. You will now go back to the given table, the original table, for optimal allocation. Since J1 should be at assigned to M4, 
trace J1 under M4 in the original given table, you will find 44. J2 under M2, you will find 46. J3 under M1, you will find 56. And J4 under M3, you will find 86. You will add all these values. 44 plus 46 plus 56 plus 86 and the total gives 232 hours. So the minimum time it will take the machine to complete the job is 232 hours. If you make any guess to make any other assignment, the value will always be higher than 232. And that is the beauty of Hungarian method. If you make any guess which is contrary to J1 assigned to M4, J2 assigned to M2, J3 assigned to M1, J4 assigned to M3, you will always get a value greater than 232. Please try it and drop your feedback at the comment section of the video. Another technique to confirm this, which is always interesting and tricky. Add all the minimum values and all the smallest uncovered values together. It will give you the total minimum time. If you check through all the tables, the minimum values are 51, 46, 64, 44, 0, 0, 0, 19. And the two smallest uncovered value we used were 3 and 5. The addition of everything will give you 3, 2, 3, 2, 232 hours. This is a very interesting way of checking your results. Whenever you are dealing with minimization problem using Hungarian method. I hope you've learned something new in this video. Exercise. It will be a very good thing for you to practice at your own leisure time. Use Hungarian method. Determine the optimal solution for the assignment problem. This is five rows and five columns. Follow the same process. Drop your answer at the comment section. If you need any help, you can contact via email or WhatsApp. You can also try by assuming this given table is a maximization problem. And try using the Hungarian method to find the optimal solution. Thank you for listening. See you in the next video.